Well, ladies and gentlemen, we finally let climate change get the best of us. Welcome to Floodland. Today, we're going to be surviving with a small settlement of, well, survivors, and we're going to see how we can do. Now, I chose Burkett 3. They were a team on an oil drilling rig when the world went to shambles. As you can see, uh, yeah, there's not much left out here. We actually can't really see much, but obviously everything is absolutely destroyed. So yes, this is another colony management survival game where we have to survive as long as we possibly can. And uh, I've been following this one for a while. It looks fantastic. Super excited to get into it and see how it is. And yeah, we're going to waste no time and start out by scavenging this land. So we can scavenge right away. I'm going to try and get some berries and whatnot that are close to us. Also, expanding our borders would be really smart. So uh, we're going to get some teams to go out and explore. All right, first point of interest, we have a building over here. We can search for people, so I will definitely do that as we continue to explore looking for more resources. Now, we can use everything in this game, so rubbish piles, I believe that's how we're going to craft things. They're basically old pieces of plastic, so yes, we're definitely going to want that for the start, and there's a lot of these around, as you can clearly see. So goal at the start of any colony management game is to get food, water, and shelter. Obviously, that would be great. I do know that the water around here is not the best. Is this actually a water tower? Oh my god, there we go. Okay, so we're going to search that as well. Uh, that's obviously going to be useful for the time being, but we are going to have to figure out a way to make water, probably via rainwater. I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself, though. Right now, all we have to do is gather some food uh, so we have enough so we can actually make an encampment. I am seeing that we have some mushroom clusters here. Uh, that gives us safe food. There is risky food and safe food in this. We are surviving after all. Um, so that's good. I need a forager hut for that. Uh, so that will be an early goal that we can possibly do. I think you can fish in this game too. I don't know what kind of mutant fish are going to be around here, but hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, and we found our first survivors in that small uh, hut that was over here. We can invite them to join us or we can't host them. It's going to take 40 food for that. I only got 68. Food is going to be a big issue, but uh, obviously the more hands we have, the better. So I am definitely going to invite them. Uh, they also have a lot of resources, water being one of them. So that is fantastic. I think we should probably get onto some homes, maybe, because we don't have anything right now. Well, actually, it looks like we don't even have a storage facility and seagulls are stealing our food. So maybe we should deal with that first. We can always uh, sleep out in the open for the time being. I do have to worry about disease, though. So this is what I'm interested in. Technology and development. So it looks like we have four different types of trees. I love the UI in this game, by the way. Uh, we're going to be doing exploration right now and get a small storage going on. We will develop that. We can also upgrade these, I guess. I don't know if that means it upgrades to medium or if you can actually upgrade every specific piece of storage as well. Anyways, I need 300 for that. I have 205, so I do need some more plastic right now before we can build that storage. Ah, uh, look at all my new settlement people, though. So that's good. I'm going to continue to explore. We can only do six exploration runs at a time, which is kind of cool. But yes, exploration is limited. Okay, we have enough plastic now. We have more than enough plastic. So now I just got to figure out how to build. I should mention I'm going into this quite blind. So it will be a little bit of a learning curve. But I honestly like playing games like this that way. All right, so it looks like I am upgrading my storage now. So we have a small permanent storage at my main base. Okay, so now we have the permanent storage. Uh, yes, that's what I was assuming. We are going to need tents. We will develop that and build it. And we want these obviously pretty close, but I do want room for crafting and everything right by my actual storage. So I think over in this field here, we'll have uh, some tents. Now, these can hold three people each. Wow, 150 plastic and three people each. We have 20 people already. I don't think everybody is going to get a tent. Hopefully, they're smart enough to not sleep all at the same time anyway. So we'll do five for right now. You know what? Maybe five is a bit much, actually. I'm going to cancel and do it to three. We only need at least one for this tutorial. And I do want to keep my plastic because looking around, there's not much. We have these things, but I need a sorting hut to gather all this. And I don't know how hard a sorting hut's going to be to get. Uh, so I am kind of running out of plastics. All right. So now that we have shelter, we need plants or fish and then water. So the game's kind of doing what I generally do in these games. Surprise, surprise. The basics of life. Uh, we need right away. We also need a supply of rubbish. So I got to figure out better ways to get rubbish because I am running out unless I just go further exploring. 
All right, so we can develop a new main technology. They're crucial for further development. So select rubbish and develop it. I'm not really sure what this is about. Develops technologies based on rubbish. So I'm assuming we can maybe gather those bigger ones now if we do that. And then we go into wood, rubble. So this is slowly going into more complex things. Okay, and yeah, that unlocked a lot of things. Forger, hut, water, still, and fishing dock. Everything that I wanted... Uh, I think we will... Well, let's get the water still down right away. So we have water. That's more important than food. It needs to be built on shallow water. Um, okay, so we do have the swamp lands down here that I can do. That's probably the best spot. So yeah, we're going to do that right there for the time being. That's nice and close to our main base. Uh, and we'll continue to develop other things as well. Uh, as I said, I think I want to do possibly fishing... So everything takes research in this game. So you really want to be strategic with this because it doesn't seem to come very often. I have six right now. I'm going to develop for the fishing hut. Uh, that can also give me the field kitchen. I should, oh man, I should probably do that as well. I'm assuming I'm going to need that for the fish. So I think this is going to be the best spot. This gives three different fishing zones and that should be pretty good. Uh, and then we'll build the field kitchen kind of right at the base here and then have all the manufacturing around the actual base. All right, we got 11 homeless people, so tents need to be a goal as well. I just don't want to overwhelm with builds right now. Um, Yeah, because we don't actually have too much plastics. I got to, you know, I should have did the um, sorting hut. Let's see if we can figure out that one. Okay, so sorting hut is right here. Good. I have just enough research to develop this as well. We are going to build that. And now we can hopefully get a bunch of plastic because, yeah, all these are plastics. I'm actually going to prioritize that so we can start collecting that because I think we're going to run into issues. Well, we actually already are into issues with a lack of plastic, so I might need to explore further. I was worried about doing that because I don't know if we can get diseases over here, but there is, as you can see, a little bit. Uh, I just didn't want it to go through this water just in case. It looks like this is the max distance we can go from our base. So yeah, we're kind of on like this island. Mind you, it is called Floodland for a reason. So there's going to be a lot of islands like this. I'm not seeing much else around in terms of plastic. I hope I can figure out a way to deal with this and at least build that sorting hut. All right, finally got the water still down. So now we're getting clean water. I don't know how much, 24.5 daily. All right, so we got it done. I got 18 research for that. That is a lot. Okay, so now it looks like we're going to get into research. We need to provide a place for people to study. Uh, yeah, getting into research early is probably very smart. Let's develop wood technology so we can chop down some of those trees, I'm assuming. Uh, we get the, yeah, so we did get the logging hut, and I guess we need the wood for the study as well. So I'm going to develop that. Uh, and I think I'll develop... Oh, crap. Maybe I should have done the logging hut first. I'm following the tutorial, though, and it told me to do that. So I guess I'll do it this way. I'm assuming we're going to get a lot of wood from just salvaging as well. Okay, research facility. Quite large. I love the design of these things. This is fantastic. Uh, so yeah, we'll put that there, and I guess we'll slowly expand out. Do I have enough? I do not have plastic yet. I really want to build this thing into a home. I need 250 for that, though, so these guys should hopefully get that soon from these. All right, the research facility has been built. Uh, how do we use this? Preferred clan... Uh, oh, this is a lot to take in. What the hell does this mean? You're, you're pointing at it. That's not ma making any sense. All right, so it's to analyze old world relics to gain research which can be used to advance technology development. Relics can be found in various areas. So I need to actually find things to study them. I actually really like that because uh, researching games like this is usually very basic. Now, I did see that we did have some in the boats. It looks like they already gathered those. So that's good. We're at least starting to get those. Okay, we got 400 plastic finally. So I will finally renovate this house. So we can get people out of the streets and hopefully unrest will go down because I am getting a little bit of unrest. People aren't very happy. Yeah, when they, when they don't have a home, that's to be expected. Okay, we have our first little bit of research done. So that part of the quest line's done. So we gain more research with that as well that I can upgrade with. I did see that we have a new fishing hut that we can do. But let's see what they suggest that we do. Set up a specialized work post for people with certain specializations. So that's vague. Set up a learning environment for people to develop their specializations. Increase fortitude among people. Fill one of the specialized work posts. Okay, so it's kind of letting me go on my own direction now, which is cool. Let's see what we want to possibly do. First and foremost, I think getting a logging hut would be smart. We have a lot of trees around that we can use. Uh, ooh, that's going to 
10. 10. Hold on. All right. Let's just look at other things first. We can do the academy. So that's essentially a school to raise their respective clan's experience, develop specializations. Um, What else do we got? The fishing wharf, as I said. We already have the fishing dock. I think this is just a bigger version. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought this was all of it. No, you can actually go up and down on these things. Too. Oh, my God. Oh, that makes way more sense. We can do farming insect huts. Ew. So you just eat insects? Shellfish farm? Like, there is a lot of really unique things in this game. Um, but yeah, that makes a lot more sense why I couldn't see a lot of the things. So, I don't know what I want to go into. I definitely think getting the hacksaw would be smart. So let's get that. And then we'll get the academy as well. An academic debate. Let's just wait. I do want to get the logging hut, but I don't know if I need it now that I have the hacksaw. I honestly have no idea. All right, so I guess after you search hacksaw, you automatically have them. So yeah, I'm just going to collect some of this wood around. I think I saw that there were street poles that I could cut down, but I think I need something else for that, which makes sense. Yes, the welding torch. I mean, yeah, you're not going to be able to cut through a, a street post, unfortunately. But yeah, I can also deconstruct uh all these different things but i need specialized tools for that i think actually can i do this one yes oh no yes perfect okay all right we have lots of plastics now so we are going to start going it looks like this is the only way i can go you can kind of see the white borders of where i can't go with without a boat so we have this small passageway this way and i think i'll start going down over here i'd like to put this as far as possible i'm not sure why i can't put in these red zones i think it's because there's water there yeah that would make sense so yeah, I guess this is the best place to do it. And then we can hopefully explore this way. There is some points of interest here, as you can see. So yeah, we, we may as well expand our borders. There's a lot of people not doing anything right now. All right, I'm not sure why I didn't do this until now. The Forger Hut is only two research points. Then we can get the house as well. Okay, so we have different modes. Electrified mode, herb picking mode. <laughs> Dude, there's so much to take in in this game. So yeah, it's looking like the Forger Hut's very basic. And then the house, you can actually power i mean you can pick herbs like it's it's cool that you can specialize every facility to do specific things i'm gonna keep the small one for right now just to get an, a different access point of food because yeah we have these mushrooms right here that this thing should work well with all right so what i think i'm gonna try and do i think anything that's close to this storage is only used by the workers in that storage so essentially any worker that's in here lives here uh, so I'm going to take some of the wor workers from this small storage and bring them over here because we don't have many people exploring. Hopefully that doesn't mean that this one is even more overwhelmed, but it likely will. This one, as you can see, is very overwhelmed, though, because I'm doing so much exploring over here. All right. But yeah, now there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm hoping we can finally find some more people. Oh, perfect. OK, so, yeah, there's like this small town here. This is huge. This is what I was waiting for. Because I should be able to get a bunch of stuff over here. Okay, first house didn't have any residents in it, unfortunately. Uh, we did get some resources, but I really need some people right now. We have, we are definitely having a people issue. I did see that this radio tower over here has batteries, so we might be able to contact people. I don't know. So that might be a goal later on. But right now, I just want to explore these homes to see if there's any people possibly that are local. All right, and we can finally get into the Age of Rubble. So we are going to develop that. That's going to unlock a lot. I need a bigger storage. My storage is actually filled. That also unlocks uh, shacks. I need to develop planks to get to the medium storage. Oh, my God. Okay, so I guess we're st sticking with small storage because that's going to take 25 more research to get to that. So it's one research to reclaim a radio tower, being that we have one localized. Let's research that, being that it's so cheap. We also have shellfish post unlocked now. Uh, again, you really have to be strategic with your research points because I'm not getting a whole lot of them. I think I might even save my resources to uh, get planks quicker. Then again, I think I should actually get these shacks. Now, the shack doesn't really help much. It only holds four people. But hey, four is better than three. So let's develop that. We're going to need to sooner or later to get some of these better homes anyways. And uh, we'll start putting down some shacks soon here. But it's not like we need to because we're not fighting freaking people. So yeah, I moved over a few more workers. They are still very much overworked. But hey, at least uh, we should be able to scavenge these homes soon. It looks like we just expanded our boundaries a little bit. 
Uh, not much else here besides random resources. I'm really curious about this ra radio tower, though. So, you know what? I'm going to research or search that as well. All right, we're going to upgrade some of these to shacks just because I'm trying to get rid of some resources, if I'm honest. Mind you, I don't have much rubble, so maybe I should chill out on that. Um, I want to figure out a way to get rid of my plastics, honestly. All right, can be adapted to reclaim radio tower. I need 200 rubbles for that. I have no rubbles. I did see that we have a bunch over here that we can collect, so I'm going to get them to start collecting some rubble, and hopefully we can reclaim that soon. All right, and unfortunately, the quest for more humans is not going well. Uh, yeah, looking at all these, did not find one. Also, I didn't think about this, but uh, unfortunately, I moved a lot of people over to this place, and it's a long travel time between work and home, so... I should probably build some tents over here. This is an interesting premise. Like, you constantly have to move in this game. Most games like this, you build a settlement and you slowly expand out. This one, I don't think we're going to be staying here for too long. We are going to be constantly moving, uh, which is going to be really interesting. Also, oh no. Uh, my one safety net was my fishing, and that is about to end. I've been looking around. I don't really see any other easy spots. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna have to move our fishing. Really, there's gonna be not much else that's at our starting location once we start moving all this. I guess we do have the forager, uh, but that won't last very long either. Oh, I didn't see this over here. This one says search for people. Way on the side, that would be actually make a lot of sense. It's right on the coastline, so we'll search that. Um, still trying to build homes over here, unfortunately. I mean, it takes them all day to get here. So by the time they get here, they can't really do much. And uh, very unfortunate, but I mean, at least we're surviving. I'm not excited to see that we have... Well, well thankfully the fish are repopulating, but we are going to have to move this soon because we are running out of fish. We do have fish populations over here, though, so I will move it over here. Let's actually do that right now. So, yeah, we're going to put a fishing thing over here. I was hoping... Okay, we have enough research now. Uh, this quest line wants us to build one of those specialized huts. So, I'm going to build the fishing wharf. Uh, and then... I don't know the difference. That's the thing, but we have more than enough resources. So, let's put this down. We have to fill this thing, and then we finish up this quest. So, we'll see what the game suggests that we do after this. Okay, yeah, the wharf. Wow, look at the radius of this thing. This thing's actually insane. So I think I'm going to put this over here. That puts us at four different fisheries. So you basically it just seems to be a more specialized tool, expanding the boundaries of a collection-based facility. Finally, I can make this reclaim radio tower as well. Very curious about that. So we're going to put that at top priority with the buildings. Seeing if we can talk to people. Also, I don't think I've researched this yet. Or explored it, I should say. Um, but yeah, there's just so much going on. Okay, so I need to use one battery to do a transmission. And expeditions don't use batteries. Uh, they just use resources and people. This is really cool, actually. So I'm going to start one of these. I'm looking for people. Oh, I, I can actually choose. Oh, no, I want people. Okay, so I think it, yeah, it showed me this. So it does unlock the fog of war around me. So that's a point of interest. Pretty far away, though, unfortunately. And I think that's all it unfortunately showed me. So not the best investment, but still really cool. We can also do an expedition. And uh, so I was able to get two. I think that's the max I have that's free. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, we'll give them rations. Oh, it requires three people? Of course, I'm missing one person. Uh, I guess we'll drop one out of this because I'm very curious how this works. All right, so there we go. So now I can tell them, being that we just found this, can I make it over there? Can't build on this type of space. I don't... Oh, there we go. Okay, so if we build over here... All right, so I think they will explore that way now. That's cool. And we finally found survivors in that last freaking house that I looked at. There is more than enough water. Please freaking join us. Oh, thank God. How many? That's 10? Oh, that's huge, man. That's... I needed that so badly. Thank you. Now I can actually get workers doing things. Oh, God. All right, so we'll prioritize the fishing wharf now so we can finally get this quest done. And, uh, yeah, we're doing a lot now. I'm not sure how this expedition's going, but really cool. Oh, there they go. Is that them? Look at them go. <laughs> I didn't realize they'd have a boat. That's so freaking cool. How did we make boats? 
I've learned this power plant was part of an experimental project, a joint venture between private sector and government. That's why there's so much military remains in this area, including a nearby radio tower. You mean the one I repurposed already and restored? I think I'm well ahead of this. Okay, so that last quest <laughs> took me so long that I've already done this. Let's see if it happens immediately. Integrate other clans into the community. So we're going to have different clans. That makes sense because uh, when I was clicking the radio tower, it made me click a clan. So it looks like we're going to be managing different settlements of people when we get later into this game. But yes, we've already done the radio tower. So we're ahead now that we have the fishing wharf done. And I think this is a good time to wrap up this first episode here, guys. I'm sorry if it was a little rough uh, with the learning curve. I've played a lot of colony management games, but nothing quite like this one. But yeah, we're well on our way to success. We are doing okay. Oh, we're not doing okay for food. What the hell? Oh, yeah, that, that's right. Because, well, I didn't have fishing up for a while. But now we have this fishing wharf. We should be getting some more risky food that we can cook. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy checking out Floodland today. Let me know if you guys do want to see more. And yeah, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.